Good morning. Hey, how much of our present spiritual predicament is our parents' or our ancestors' fault? Our reading is in Jeremiah 31, verses 27 through 30. Let's see what the Bible says. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, that I will sow the house of Israel and the house of Judah with the seed of man and the seed of beast. And it shall come to pass that as I have watched over them to pluck up, to break down, to throw down, to destroy, and to afflict, so I will watch over them to build and to plant, says the Lord. In those days they shall say no more. The fathers have eaten sour grapes, and the children's teeth are set on edge. But every one shall die for his own iniquity. Every man who eats the sour grapes, his teeth shall be set on edge. So we all inherit some bad pieces from our ancestors, right? I mean, Adam and Eve decided to rebel, and no matter how superficial their decision at the time was, uh, their rebellion led, led the whole human race to have a weakened uh, mental arrangement between the mental, the emotional, and all the different pieces, so that what makes good sense is sometimes it's very hard to do because we're discombobulated. Is that a word? Now, here's Jeremiah prophesying, and the nation's reduced to Babylonian captivity. And there seems to have been a saying of some of the younger people that, you know, we're in this mess largely because of our parents and our grandparents and because of the nonsense they did and their their lazy spiritual laziness, their inattentiveness to God. It's because of them that we're in this bad situation. So there seemed to be some blaming going around, you know, that our fathers ate sour grapes, and now we're getting the bad outcomes from that. Bummer, this just isn't right, it isn't fair. Now, it is true. From our ancestors, we do experience some bad outcomes, right? They made bad choices, we get some of the bad results. They also made some good choices in different places, and we get those good results from those good choices too. So remember, that both pieces would, would be true. But now the God of heaven is looking at our situation, and where are we with him? It's not really about our ancestors. Salvation is, always comes down to a personal walk with God. And so we, our own attitude really matters on the individual basis. So I'm in this situation that I didn't fully create. That's, by the way, everybody's same situation, isn't it, in some respect? So what? What we need to do is start where we are and follow the path of Jesus from this place where we are. And so there is the thing. We won't benefit spiritually by going back and trying to assign spiritual blame to our spiritual ancestor and saying, you know, if my great-great-grandfather had been more uh, godly, then he would have raised my parent, my grandparents to be more godly, and they would have raised me to be more godly, and I'd be in a better situation. Yeah, maybe so. That's just not the way it was. So now you start where you are, and that's okay. That's where we all start. So let's be careful here. We don't want to look at this. Yeah, the fathers have eaten sour grapes, and the children's teeth are set on edge. Don't go off blaming other people for your bad situation right now. It is what it is. Start where you are. Go out from there. Go out to glory. Go out where God wants you to go. Everyone's responsible for sorting out our own personal spiritual situation. Captivity is a time to regroup. It's a time when dulled spiritual values, we can revisit these things and move into a better direction. So it's actually good to treat, treat our time now as though we are in a captivity, and, and maybe we are in some respects, and to use the time wisely, redeem the time. You know, you only get so much time. Let's use it to draw closer to Jesus. God is able to bring good things out of your hardest times. And that's something we can be sure of. Let's pray together about this. Dear Father in heaven, we are facing another new day, another gift from heaven, Lord, another time you've given us to serve you. You gave us the sleep we had, we did receive. And now, Lord, be with us in this new day. Watch over us. Help us not to do some, this mental spin cycle about things that we can't change, things that we had no control over, but instead, Lord, help us to draw close to you today because today is the day of salvation. Today is the day of opportunity. So, Lord, bless us in this new day. Help our hearts to draw closer to heaven. Thank you for hearing our prayers, Lord. And so we, we pray for these gifts from you. We ask for them in Jesus' name. Amen. May God help us individually to seek his face and turn to him and he will get us through whatever the emergencies of this day even are. God be with you today.